All right. Um, open the meeting. Do I hear, uh, I declare this meeting open at 6.08 p.m. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Today is Monday, August 10th, and the time is 6.08 p.m., and we're opening the Recreation Committee meeting as a preliminary matter. This is Mike Balpone, Chair of the Nervy Recreation Committee. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Board members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. David Broll. Here. David Dempsey. Here. Selene Muldowney. Here. Mark Sand has already explained he will not be here tonight. And Alicia Greco. I sent her a message, I haven't heard anything. Uh, employees are up to other town attendees, uh, anticipated guests. Um, good evening, today is again, August 10th, an open meet uh, at now 609, an open meeting of the Nurby Recreation Committee, which is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order, our March 12th to 20, uh, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth, due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we've advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public or public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. An order which you can find posted with general materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so as long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will, uh, right now, it's, it's gonna fe feature public comment. For this meeting, the Nervy Recreation is convening by video conference via Zoom as posted on the Recreation Committee agenda, which can be found on the Recreation page on the town's website. The agenda identifies how the public may join the meeting. This agenda can also be accessed from the website's homepage by clicking on the box that says agendas at the top of the news box. Please note this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating video, by video conference. According, accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and that take care not to screen share your computer unless you're requested to do by me. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Materials were provided to the board committees prior to the meeting review. Uh, we are now turning to the first item of the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules to effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting notes. For, my, for any discussion items, I, the chair, will go down the list of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, anyone other than board members, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please use earphones, earphone buds, with tablets and cell phones. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Take care not to share your screen. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. Board members will be called upon first and name alphabetical order to ease the process. If board members wish to engage in a colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify themselves. Finally, each vote taken this meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. Agenda. Okay. Um, all right, move. sorry, this is the part where I have to move things around. All right, um, members present, we've already done, reading of the previous minute meetings minutes. The one that Mark sent was from June 30th, so it was two meetings ago. Did anybody else get a chance to read it? Because I didn't find any problems. Yeah, I read it, I didn't find any problems with it either. Okay, do I hear a motion to accept the meetings as presented? Yes. Make a motion to accept okay. the meetings as presented. Do I hear a second? Second. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. So, All right. Go ahead. Yeah, Celine. All right. All right. Guys, I'm sorry. I got to keep going back through the order. I apologize. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, correspondence and bills and claims. Do we have anything? We just had one bill from John uh, Filippo was relatively small, less than $200. Okay. And I did not look up, I, I forgot that I was supposed to do something for Townsend Oil, so. 
right, we'll keep trying to see if we can get that for the next. Um, I know from the different communications regarding to Sphinx Soccer and Triton Youth Soccer and um, Rush and the yoga studio, everything is supposed to be working. I saw, I've already met with yoga. They've had a couple of sessions over there. They're actually using the field up the side or behind the field house, um, which is not on the field, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I saw soccer in the field. Do we know how the, are the goals on the field? Has anybody seen? Hey, last time I drove by was a, a week or so ago, and they weren't, but they might be now. I they weren't as of 7.30 this morning. I know that much because I saw okay. I drove by this morning. So, Do we know how those things get on the field? Do we have to request them from DPW? Do the leagues do it themselves? They do it themselves. Or? They do it. Yeah, you just drag them. Okay. Um, other than that, that was all we had. So we have all their hours for the summer already done, and then the fall we'll see what happens. Um, I know Newbury is meeting tonight. Our Triton is meeting tonight. And I know Newbury's meet, Newbury Port's meeting tomorrow, so um, we'll have a better idea. Uh, I know Pentucket has opted for a hybrid where Ainsbury is talking remote. So we'll see how the other two school districts go, which will make a difference in how we go things. If they go remote, I don't think they're going to have leagues. Um, if they're going to have athletics in the fall, so if they don't, then I presume we're not going to have anything with youth soccer, unless we choose to do so. Um, because we still can with the governor's orders, unless that changes. Am I incorrect in that statement? I, I, there is, go ahead, Dave. Does the does the Triton um, Triton uh, youth soccer? Do they are they in conjunction with uh, Triton, or are they separate and they could still run their program? I guess that's a question. I'm not sure. I think they're separate. Okay. Yeah, the, the youth programs are separate from the high school. As so far we'll, as have to, yeah. we'll have to communicate with them. So as long as the governor's rule doesn't go back to a phase two or phase one for some reason, then we should still be okay. I mean, that's yep. their call. But if, they, if we're allowing them to do it and they choose not to, the next question is, do we then credit them for doing, allowing to do it? Um, personally, if they're given the opportunity they sign up for the field and they choose not to use it. That's their call. But you guys have an opinion. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I think if they tie the field up then and they make a commitment to the field, they have to use it. Unless there's some – I mean, if the governor kicks back all the way to phase one or phase two and I puts agree a lockdown, 100 then we got to look at it from a different perspective. I agree. Celine, do you have a comment? No. I'm just listening. Okay. I think you guys are good. Okay. Um, old business, the basketball court. Did you guys get with Tracy? No. No. Why? I have but, been straight out. But yeah. I did find out that Dave and I have been talking to the same individual over at that Amesbury um, company. Yeah. Because he sent me an email and said, apparently, you guys have both been communicating with <laughs> And that they are willing to um, to do some specs and to uh, communicate further with us if we're willing to go forward. We just have to let them know. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna issue the RFP. So, um, do you yeah, guys think? Go ahead, Dave. Um, what 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 I know what my plan is is to go in front of her, and I it, it's more or less I I got in touch with Dave Dempsey, but it was not regarding that. Um, but what I know is that uh, there's got to be four inches of concrete, uh, concrete rebar, which I've, I've figured out in there. Um, and so I, 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 know, I know the steps to go to, to, to set up and to, to approach her, but I just have not. So that's my fault. Okay. I, and, um, I, and again, I, wanted, I don't want to sound stupid, but I looked at Mark's notes and I thought they for this meeting. I said, "Oh, we don't have a meeting for another week. I'll I'll approach it this week." And then I was like, you, "When you emailed me this morning, I was like, uh, damn." So, yeah. If if we could find out, just because um, we really need to get started on this, at least get the RFP out to find out. I mean, the big question is if we can do if we have to do this as one, as one entity, or if we can divide this out. Um, if we have to do it as one, it's just a question of what it's going to end up costing us. 
yeah. I would rather, I mean, I'm hoping groups are willing to do it. They could use the business. If they can't, then, I mean, we'll sit and look at it. But the, I would think the suggested timeline is, is get the RP and get it all the answers and have it decided by hopefully October, November and have construction start in April. Yep. Okay. All right. Let the ground get hard. Let, let the ground thaw out. And, and I would hope, I mean, it all depends with the ETA on what, how long it takes them to do it. If we could somehow get this done between, if they started April 1st, let's say, April, May, June, 90 days, I don't know how long it takes to put that in. I think once the installation starts, it can, it, it can be done within a month. I mean, it's, yeah. Once they get everything ready, the grading part is the hardest part, pouring the concrete and getting that ready. But once that's poured and it's, it's screened and it's leveled, um, you know, put, putting the, the playing surface down is, is pretty easy. It's, according to the, the person that I was talking to, um, you know, the hardest part is the excavation and getting it ready and getting the site ready. So if we got the ground, the, the, everything leveled off and then got the foundation put in and then they came into the court, if we found out what that expense was, let's say it was, let's say it was seventy-five thousand dollars. I'm just throwing a number. The hoops are not included in that point. We then can look at our budget to see if we want to then expend the money for the hoops so we can keep it. Yeah, I think Miss, uh, oh, the way I the way I see it is it's as simple as them grading and then getting down the concrete because the concrete's the hard part, but the the actual court is just a giant puzzle. They just put the pieces together and that can be done probably in a day from the way I've seen them build it online. Um, so it's just as simple as getting the concrete done. They put in the, um, the, uh, the webbing, the base, base portion, and then we set up the hoops. I assume the hoops go in afterwards uh, once the, once the, uh, the floor is down. So I think I presume, I presume it's dug, the holes are dug though first. I presume. I think the hoops. I think the hoops go in prior to the actual floor being set. Okay. Um, they mark the floor out. I talked the the one that was done in Lynn. That I talked to the city council was done 20 years ago, so they didn't really have much information on it. But the way that he described it was that all the site was prepared. They had to kind of meet with the company about a month in advance to give them the color design, the patterns how many hoops they wanted, how many free throw lines they wanted, what they wanted the actual court to look like. So that that's being done by the company and set up by the company and the graphics are all being done while, while the, the concrete and the, the site is being prepared. And then the hoops are put in, they, they tape off everything um, on top of the concrete, mark the concrete um, so that they know exactly where the hoops are going to go, where the foul lines are going to go. And then the puzzle comes together with the color pattern and the actual floor. My only concern yeah. was uh, them charging twenty seven hundred per hoop. That was like, that's ridiculous. We know we could do. We probably save a grand each. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I I think when you talk about a municipality, I think you could get a much better price on that same hoop. Plus, if you're buying six of them, I think you're going to see a different, um, you know, a different price as well too. So, I, you know, I think the twenty seven hundred dollars that we're talking about is is probably you know the purchase the the. Manufacturer suggested retail price for a hoop, um, but I think when a municipality comes in, I think you know there's going to be discounts, and there'll also be, I think, a better pricing if you're going to buy six of them. Well, we'll certainly find out soon enough. But um, so the question is, how soon can you guys get with Tracy? I I can do it. I can I can call her tomorrow and see if we can get a meeting maybe on Thursday or something. The uh, the problem the problem with me, Dave, is. My only two days off are Monday and Tuesday. So if, okay. if, if you want to start it on Thursday, and then maybe if you and I have to meet with her again on next Monday or Tuesday to kind of finalize some things, I'd be more than happy to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get in contact with her. Um, yeah. I think that especially now I've been getting all sorts of uh, emails from other companies because at first I, I was searching around and only found that 360, but now I have right. – like multiple companies that seem to be anxious to get, you know, even though I heard before that they were saying some groups are like, Oh, I'm busy for the rest of the year. Uh, people are out there and the guy from 360 seemed to be quite anxious about working or finding where we're at. So um, I think yeah. that might be a positive sign. I think, I think I, from my conversation with them too, I think that you're right. I think what's happened is 
a lot of you know municipalities have put their budget on hold. So even projects that they were anticipating were going to take place and they were bidding on uh, might have been put on a, in, a, in a spending freeze uh, just because the, the cities and towns are really waiting to see what their expenditures look like after this is over. Yeah, so we might in the end result have, get a decent price for, yeah. um, for, the, uh, for the whole thing. Can you, can you send me a list of the other companies that you've been working with yep. or communicating with? I will. And, uh, yeah, so I can kind of maybe make a contact. And I think if we could get a spec sheet from maybe all of them or any of them, and that way if we kind of offer the opportunity for all of them to spend, send us a spec sheet, I think that would eliminate any conflict of interest in bidding if they're all given the same opportunity. Okay. All right, yeah, I think that's, I, I think that's fairly, I, I think if we're asking them for specifics on what they're gonna do rather than prices, because the 360 guy was like, uh, well, I'll give you some numbers, but he wasn't showing his cards, even though he gave us those numbers. I don't right. think those are gonna be applicable to what the actual bid's gonna come at. Right. Um, so um, I will, uh, again, I, I know the basic stuff, what they're gonna ask. And um, so I guess my question for you guys, should we plan on doing this and uh, uh, the recreation committee buying the hoops ourselves so everything else will be done by the company? So what we'll say is we need grading, uh, concrete pad and the base down We'll provide the hoops and you install the hoops. Is that, is that the way um, it should be written up with Tracy? Uh, I'd like no. no? Go ahead, Clint. Well, I don't know. Isn't it better just to have them do everything? Depends well, we're, on the price. Yeah, we think about the price. Well, we can tell them. Uh, well, you, can include it, you can include it in the bid form that you, that you give them. They can, they can opt to, to give a price with completion, with complete, doing the complete package. And then they can also put part of the bid as doing it without just, without, you know, eliminating the, 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 the hoops. Um, so, so you can, you know, you can include that in, in a bid that they, they have two options to bid and then you get a price on both ways. So you can see what the difference is. Okay. Cause they also so might just be playing devil's them. advocate. Yeah. If something goes wrong with the hoop that yeah. they didn't <laughs> buy. Yeah. Yep. Right. I, I agree, Celine, and your point, the only, the only caveat is what Dave was saying. It all depends. If someone's going to charge us $2,700 a hoop, I said, that's crazy. But if, No, if well, we can back, go back yeah. to them and just argue the point. You know, say, yeah. look, we can buy our own hoops for half yeah. an hour and negotiate that down. Yeah, it all we'll just say, gonna be. yeah, we'll say, all right, we have the hoops. If, if your price is going to be that, we have the hoops. They'll be on site. You guys install them. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't think the the installation is any different from them buying it and us buying it. In the no, the only the only thing that they might be able to do if they if they're competitively bidding, they might be able to buy the six hoops cheaper than we can. Okay. If this is their business, if this is what they do all the time, and they purchase you know sixty or seventy hoops a year from this company, and they can put a good product out there at a lower price because of they this is what they do all the time. You know, it's like guys that sell these hockey rinks. You know, the materials and everything, they get a better price on it than somebody coming in with a one-shot deal and saying, I want to build a ring. These okay. companies, that, you know, put them up and build them, build 50 of them a year. They're, they're going to get a better price on the materials than we would. Okay. All right. Well, let me know. Let us, we'll, when we schedule the next meeting, just kind of send us an email uh, to the group of kind of what you find out from Tracy and how soon we can get this written and, and posted. Because, okay. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd love to have this in the, have it out to the public by October 1st, the latest. Okay. Yeah. And then we say 30, 60 days, here's your turnaround time. And then we make a decision before the end of the year so we can have them under contract for April. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Um, yep. The online calendar uh, website assistance, Mark was checking with them. He is unfortunately not here tonight. So um, we're going to have to table that at this point. The spending and operating plan, we were discussing at the last meeting about the bathrooms and the concern there. Um, I reached out to Tracy and I think I copied you guys all in the responses of what's going on. Uh, we are not, uh, we are not gonna use the house, the field house for the time being based on the current um, health situation going on. Once we get to that second phase of three, 
which the governor has stopped. Once that is allowed, we're allowed to go in there. She said the DPW will start cleaning this. And then I just got to find out what that's going to cost. And I'm waiting for her response. I hope it is significantly less than the $75 a pop they were, the other company was charging, even though they were doing a very good job, it was expensive. Um, yeah. And that makes a big difference in our budget, what we do, because if we had to pay with the current health situation, we were going to spend close to a third to 40% of our budget just on cleaning the bathrooms this coming year, which was going to be a big issue. So a quick question for you. Um, the, and Dave, you probably know this more than anyone. Um, they're using porta potties down on the island, and who, who pays for those? Uh, right now, the town is paying. Well, New Report's paying from at their end, and the town is paying from at this end. And all restaurants and facilities have been told no public restrooms. So, all right. So, the, the other question is um, should we be requiring um, our users, let's say come fall, to provide them again? Um, if we're, if, let's say we're, we stay in the phase that we're at right now. My concern is people starting to use the woods or whatever to use a uh, bathroom. Um, is that something we can go back to saying, you know, you guys have to provide your own bathrooms? I mean, own, own party parties until um, this is over with? I think that's fair. I think it's reasonable. Yep. Do we remember what they were charging off the top? Does anybody have a clue? I'm trying, I'm trying was, to think of the number. It wasn't a lot of money. It was. Yeah. No, I think I'm just thinking. We're talking, I think like each one of them. I had one here. We, I built a house next door, and I had one here. I think it was a hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that's what and I thought. They came, they came every every two days and cleaned it, flushed it, and and even when the big storm came and it blew out in the middle of the street, they came and put it back. So, yeah, I think it's about a hundred dollars a month. I'm just curious because worst case, I mean, to be good good partners in the situation, if we need to, um, worst case, we could split that. Um, yeah. If we had to, it's not that I want to go crazy and spending our money on it, but again, we have the house. We can't use it. It's unfortunately just because um, it just be astronomical to try to clean it. So hopefully we can offer that. So let's see what happens because um, once we hear in the next week or so, uh, I'd like to meet again before the school year starts, um, which would be until if after Labor Day, if it starts. If we'll say we'll know. We'll know in the next couple of days. I think if they're going to go remote or whatever. So. Um, I mean, I'll discuss this later, but I was proposing the 31st is our next meeting, which is the week before schools are, I'm hearing school starting 10 days later now because of the, uh, um, guidelines that the, uh, Commonwealth set out. So they're only doing 170 days instead of 180. Right. So if they do that, we may actually be able to buy some time. But if we find out that they are going to have school, um, uh, we'd like to, we need to let them know what, what the offer the situation is if they're going to play or not. So yeah, it, it, discuss that. It looks, like the, it looks like the 17th is going to be a starting date for schools. And then the teachers and staff probably have to go back. They're going to do probably 10 days of professional yeah. development just to get them all up to snuff with the, with the technology and the remote, especially if they're doing a hybrid, you know, they're going to have to figure out some type of scheduling. Yeah. Last I heard it was like Monday, Tuesday in with one group, Thursday and Friday with another group and Wednesday was the clean day. But I mean that could change depending on whose thoughts or ideas it is. So, yeah. Um, but so we'll have to look at the spending and operating plan. I mean, if we have ideas, um, when we get, I mean, I don't want to just go spending money if we don't need to. But we do want to once the field house is ready. We had previously talked about um, a fridge, microwave, and stuff that in there. Um, and then if we had stuff for outside, if we needed to. So, I, I think as far as the as far as the porta potties. I think the, the probably one of the best, and this is just a suggestion, is one of the best things to do is for us, if we were going to uh, be part of the spending cost, put the, be part of it, is to provide the handicap porta potty and let them provide the individual hand individual yes. porta potty. Okay. So That's at, fair. At least, That's good idea. At least we're covered. At least we're covered. Uh, that if anybody questions, you know, the Individuals Disabilities Act or anything, why isn't there a handicap uh, porta potty here? At, at least we can say that you know we're ahead of that and we've taken care of that. Okay. And, and it, it, I, when I contact, if I get in touch to actually talk to Tracy tomorrow or the next day, what I'll do is I'll throw it out there and say, hey, uh, you know, you guys want to f foot this bill of your foot in for the uh, island? Maybe maybe the DPW foots it or whatever. But if not, we'll we'll come up with the cash. Yeah. Okay.
Who's got the cricket? Dave. I think I got some goods. I'm sitting out on my deck right now looking at the house that I just built that's on the market for sale, and I got some crickets and birds around me. Yeah. You're selling your house already? The one next, the one I built, yes. We're putting it on the market for sale. Okay. We, uh, I live right next door, and we built that, but I think I told you guys, you know, yeah. my wife's situation. So we, yeah, okay. Yep. Um, can't wait. Where can we go with that at this point? Um, I will... I will talk to her uh, tomorrow and find out. I, it's funny because every time that we seem like we make a step forward, we seem to get pushed back. She's like, well, what do you guys want to do with it? And don't you have to have a plan and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, uh, don't we have to have some kind of guidance? I, I thought the original conversation with her was basically that we should look into it. Now, maybe they don't want to because of the, uh, the budget situation coming up next year. But um, I think that it would be nice just to say to her, you know, our plan is to take the property, uh, make it, you know, do a couple phases. The first phase is to clear it out so that we can put a, uh, a parking area so that it will eliminate the baseball team from using the library parking lot, um, or at least diminish that. And then second is to build just a B for basic soccer field un unirrigated um, that we could use for our secondary field. Okay. If, they, if you guys agree, that, that sounds like a good direction to go. Yeah, I think uh, we just need to start by having access and clearing it out and then kind of yeah. taking it from and there. Then, and then we get a feasibility of what we actually can do. I mean, if they're okay with it, then this is what we want to do, but we need to find out if it's even feasible. So. Let us know what you get back with Tracy because I think did if we Tracy get... once say about hiring somebody out of I don't know what funds to um, Alicia do an it. engineering plan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alicia and was talking about that. So uh, I I I will I'll at least give you some kind of definitive, and I I hope that I'm not doing a big circle, which I seem like I'm doing, but I'm hoping that she'll say. Um, at least give me some guidance to say, okay, well, the next thing we can do is get the DPW in there to um, clean it out, and then, and then, then come up with a plan. And, and I don't know if the if the course of action is before the DPW goes in there, we have to have um, an engineering plan. I don't know, but I'll find out that. Well, I think the other thing you should find out, Dave, is um, what about the conservation commission? I mean, I know anything we've done anywhere over here with. You move a wheelbarrow full of dirt, you got to have the Conservation Commission's approval on what you're doing. So I don't know how it is, you know, in the rest of Newberry as far as, um, you know, any both projects, actually, if you're going to be clearing a site and you're going to be, you know, or you're going to be even digging the, the excavating for the for the base foundation for the basketball court. Do they have do we have to go and present before them or because it's a town project? Is it different? Yeah, I'll, I'll find that 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 I'll find out. Um, okay. So right now on my list, I have uh, the basketball court in the in the direction what what we have to do for that, and then the other one is to talk about Kent Way, and at least have a blueprint on where to go from there, so we can at least um, track it, so that we you know she'll say we have to do A, B, C, D, and E, and then we can, uh, I'll come back with, this is what we have to do, and then yeah. we can we can bite a piece off um, bit by bit. So I do have the original plans that they designed for Kent Way. Oh, you do? To you, but okay. I don't know if it's some, I mean, if they're 15 years old, I don't know if we want to do the same thing. Were those the baseball field things, or was it a soccer field? Uh, baseball. Okay. Well, I'll let her know that we have we have old plans, so um, okay, because I'm sure she doesn't know about that, or I don't know. Well, maybe we want to change up where the baseball is done, handled mainly by baseball uh, by uh, Byfield, uh, the program over there. Maybe we didn't then do put another soccer field and have something that matches up so the parking could be shared between the two or something. But it's gonna be a question of. I mean, I know they want to have the plan before we go do anything, but at the same point, well, we need to know what we can do. Here are the couple of things we're thinking about doing, and then from there we could decide. Okay. So, so, so uh, what you just said is, 
are are you should I sort of toss out there that we don't know what the actual field will be, whether it be soccer or baseball, but um, it, at least we'll have a plan to use that for recreational areas. So I, again, I think Mark's idea was really good about saying, okay, we get in a, a parking area. And so mm -hmm. people are parking there and not in the library. And then um, we do the phase two, or we at the same time we do the field and we make the field so it could either go uh, baseball or soccer. Does yeah. that seem all right? Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Or if even if it's even easier, um, and I'm thinking of the girls in this point. Don't be afraid to look at, at softball too. Okay. Because yeah. They, yeah. there's the only place they have any town to play other than the school um, is behind Newbury Elementary. So another yeah. option there to do it. So okay, awesome. Um, uh, everybody knows where the latest health situation is right now. We are stuck on love on phase three. We have not gone to the second part of phase three based on the latest comments. And with the cases going where they're going, we're not sure what's going to happen yet. Um, as we've already talked about, schools will decide in the next week, and then that may determine which way we're going. Um, but the fields are being used at, at currently for this start this week and next. Okay. All right. Perfect. The only thing I had on new business was the budget and purchase availability. But again, I, does anybody have any ideas that the things they're looking at are, I mean, <laughs> we have a lot of ideas. It's a question of what we can do and it's, it's where it's going to come out of the basketball, the basketball hoops, or if we did a playground or if we did um, things for Kent Way, a lot of that's going to depend, or the field house, it's going to depend on what our next steps are. I think right. part of the problem is that we looped into the new fiscal year. Right. So we're not going to spend money that we don't need to spend because we don't, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, my, um, my, and I, again, I don't know if it's going to get thrown back at us because I know that the, the charge of our group was at the time, and it may still be just the Central, Central Street recreational area. Um, so I hope I don't run into a wall there saying, but I think that, I think that when we first talked about this, I think Kent Way and Central Street were encompassing that that initial thought. So I'll find I out pretty so. quickly if we if if that is okay with her. Um, I I don't know how much money they want to spend, but um, if the DPW is willing and able, it'd be great to at least uh, get a parking lot in there. So I drove by the Upper Green sometime in the last week or so, and there was some organized kind of exercise activity going on there. I don't know if it was, you know, okayed by the town or just somebody doing something on their own. It just kind of struck me as funny. You know, why are we not in charge of that? Why are these people just yep. doing That's clearly an organized event? That's the age old question. The, the, base, the baseball program, the fields behind uh, that are part of Triton that we, that are used by other groups. The fields used behind Newby Elementary, there's another group, uh, and then the two upper and lower greens. It's, there's, it's, it's like, what do you want us to be in charge of? And, and maybe that's a question we bring Tracy to in a couple of weeks and say, are we okay? Should we proceed this direction? Or is the town just flat out saying no? And I'll reach out to her regarding that. I'll let you get through your meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, or as soon as you get done with your meeting, just let me know, then I'll touch base with her after and just say, Hey, we had a question regarding our meeting. We want to make sure we have all these other entities in town. Should we be start encompassing that into our whole charge, or does the town prefer to keep it theirs? Because people are looking at baseball different because the baseball program's got both fields and behind the library. So um, I'd kind of like to make sure we're the ones kind of in charge of it all. Uh, but we're certainly going to need some more help if that's the case. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll reach out to Tracy after hear your, your how yours goes, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, perfect. Anybody else have anything else to list or add to this meeting? No, my my phone's dying. Yeah, I, I just wanted to bring up the whole thing about the porta potties because I thought that would be kind of important to at least right. have something there, especially because some of those groups are there for an hour or two hours. Someone's going to have to use the bathroom. Well, then let's do this then. Can we? It's kind of part of the spending plan. Uh, do I hear a motion to fund a uh, handicap accessible porta potty for the fall if there is a league? 
Does that make sense to have it done, voted on now? So we have it in sure. place if we, we, we determine yep. it, find out they are? Yep. yep. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. David? Aye. 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 Done. So we'll make sure that if we get, if we find out the news that they're going to play and we're going to do it, we just got to find out who calls Reds at that point. Is that something the town would do, the DPW would coordinate? Yeah, or? I, I, I'll ask her. I'll ask her tomorrow. I'll put that on my list of things. You're getting busy. You're going to have a long meeting with her. I got found that meeting uh, will last about 30 minutes if, if the way she goes. I know. She's pretty direct to the point. Uh, it, makes it easy. Yeah, I think that um, – I think that – uh, I assume that we'll just be doing it by uh, uh, Zoom. Zooms. So it will be short because I'll probably be working. David, you running any problems tomorrow uh, and she wants to jump on something, just give me a call. I, yep. I could certainly help out. I mean, the problem is we can't have three of us on a call. Yep. We can't, we can't have three members on the committee because then it turns into a meeting. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't worried about you, Celine. <laughs> Well, I, I, very, I get to that. Dave, if you if you can get in the meeting with her tomorrow, I'll be available. All you got to do is text me ahead of time. Okay. Okay. He's got it's Tuesday yeah. tomorrow. I keep forgetting it. He's got a day off. He can do it tomorrow. Okay. Um, let me know what goes from there, and we'll proceed. Other than that, um, do I hear a motion to close at six forty four p.m.? Wow. It's, it's way too motion, early. It's I way make too a motion early. to close at six forty two p.m. Do I hear a second? <laughs> Do I hear any discussion? Do we want to discuss this for like 45 minutes? Or we... I think best case principles say that um, it'd be a good time to end this, this meeting. Yeah, I, we have I a got lot of comments at this point too. We don't want to lose David his cell phone. Right. And I got a grill waiting to turn on so I can cook some steak tips. So enjoy it. Uh, all, all those in favor. Oh, what's our next meeting? Oh, yes. um, the next meeting I wanted to see if we can do is August 31st. It's the Monday before Labor Day, because if we don't, we're going to have to wait till the week after. And I don't think we want to go that late. Cause school will already be starting. I think we need to make some decisions. It's August thirty first. It's two yep. weeks from tonight. Sounds good. Six o'clock. Yep. I've already checked the calendar. There's nothing on it, so we can grab the time. All right. Just remind me to send a link tomorrow morning. Yes, right. I'll email. You, I'll email you tomorrow, and we'll better. And I, I, I sent you guys an email saying that was kind of was hoping I responded to Mark. So hopefully that it was something that works up one too. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. Uh, we need to have a meeting to, do I hear uh, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting? Aye. Aye. Okay. Guys, thank you very much. We can end the recording. If you guys need anything, let me know. Dave, go watch your dog in the pool. Um, Aww. Aww. I'm envious right now. You can have yep. the next rec committee at your pool. You can we do can, that. We, we can separate. As long as no, we're on Zoom. Oh, people, uh, it, it has become the public pool. We have our neighbors use it when we're not here. We have uh, someone else use it when we're not here. So um, it was one of the things with a pool. I always thought that if you have a pool, you should have people using it. And if we're not around, someone it's like someone gets a boat and they use a boat like once every two weeks. We got a pool. Use it. Enjoy. So if you ever get hot, please come over and in depth. No. Be careful so, what you offer. Yeah, nope. that's right. Be careful. Nope. 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 All right. So now, public TV. All right, we're off. We're so off. now I'm gonna, okay. now, actually now I gotta have the I gotta have the vote to still adjourn. We never did it yet. So I, I, do I hear uh, all those in favor of meeting adjourning at six forty two? That David Dunn. We're uh, in favor. Dave? Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Absolutely. See you guys on the thirty first. If you need anything, let me know. Thanks, I'll, guys. I'll, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. All right, bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll see Thank you. Thanks. Good night.